Hey, what's going on? This is Noah from Northern Scavenger, and today I'm going to be repairing a fracture on the bottom of my plastic Coleman canoe. About two weeks ago, I was paddling with my girlfriend at a local lake, and we noticed the canoe started filling up with water. So we pulled ashore, I flipped it, and saw that there was about an inch and a half to two inch fracture right on the keel, right underneath the bow. Some of you guys may know the Coleman's been with us for years, so I'm not really ready to get rid of it, even though it is a pretty terrible canoe. So I'm gonna do what I can to repair it and get it back out in the water as soon as possible. Plastic Coleman canoes are made out of an HDPE, which is a high density polyethylene. Uh, what it is, it's a chemically resistant plastic and unlike Kevlar, ABS, and other sort of material used for making canoes, uh, you can't really bond epoxies and silicones that easily. And I didn't really know how to fix this thing. So I actually reached out to you guys on Facebook and you gave me a bunch of great recommendations. Just based on my time and material, I'm gonna be trying a JB Weld. You can pick it up from your local Canadian Tire or Home Depot. Before I do that, I'm gonna start with sanding down the plastic around it so it bonds properly with this coarse grained sandpaper. And then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna be layering the shit out of it with Gorilla Tape. So the first thing I have to do is dismantle the foam block that's in the front part of the canoe. So we're gonna go do that right now. You can see the damage is right in there. So when you're doing these sort of repairs, you want to make sure your boat is nice and clean. So I'm going to take some time to clean it out and let it dry before I do the application and the sanding. So I washed off what I could on both sides. Now I'm going to get a rough sandpaper and scrape off and make a rough surface for the bond to take. You can see it's all fresh now and ready to get the application of the glue. I'm gonna be mixing the plastic bonder, part A and part B, and applying it to the inside of the canoe. All right, so I would say that's mixed thoroughly. So now that the inside and outside are both cleaned out and sandpapered, I grabbed a piece of wood and I put it underneath the canoe to have the area that has the crack on it suspended. So I ended up adding a pretty hefty amount. I'm thinking it's not gonna hurt to add three times as much as you need. So I just kind of added it like a caulking and just spread it on with the popsicle stick. So about an hour after I coated the inside, I coated the outside. And then I waited about an hour or two from there. And now both the inside and outside are hard as a rock. So what I'm gonna do is sandpaper the outside to make this nice and smooth and flush with the canoe. But on the inside, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. So I think just for security, I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape and really give that second coat of security right there. Definitely doesn't look that appealing. But you know what? I think it's gonna work. Just another battle scar. Hey Bria, what do you think? She's repping her Northern Scavenger buff. You can find these buffs on our website. Great for people, great for dogs. Can't go wrong. All right guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is all experimental. I do not know if it's gonna work. Comment below if you have any future ideas of how you can repair a plastic Coleman canoe. 
Make sure to like the video and subscribe to Northern Scavenger for fresh content every once in a while. See you in a few.